Hello, um, I'm David Wells' son, Jonathan, and I'd like to share a few words today about my father. Um, hopefully you can hear this pretty well. I hope there's not sound technical difficulties because that would be ironic, seeing as though my dad always had to deal with sound difficulties throughout his career <laughs> um, on stage. Um, but anyway, I apologize that I'm not able to be there in person, um, but I am there in spirit today. Um, I wanted to talk about my father and just share a couple of stories that I have with him that are really special to me. Um, my dad dedicated his life um, to serving the Lord through the ministry of music, and he loved uh, leading worship and choir, but most of all, he loved musical productions. And, um, you know, probably the most uh, exciting one for him was always The Witness. Um, we did The Witness, I don't know how many times, um, from 1978 until just, you know, in the past few years uh, with Evangel Cathedral and with Christian Outreach Center and uh, Restoration Church and um, Tabernacle Baptist. Um, he's done The Witness as well as other productions. And um, they were just so special to him and he touched so many people um, through those musicals. It was so exciting to watch the stage um, transform uh, into a set and um, I loved helping him do that and I loved watching the people uh, you know get in costume and and get excited to share the message. We all had one goal and that was to share the message of Jesus Christ to some who may have never heard it. Um, but my dad was always thinking about how he could improve production, even when we were uh, going on vacation um, one time um, in the mid-90s. Um, it was between Christmas and New Year's. Um, my dad and I got in the car, and we drove down to Orlando, Florida, to meet my grandparents, Ronald and Mary Jane Wells, who were staying at a retirement village for the week. Uh, their friends have loaned, had loaned them a place, and we went to meet them and we just had fun hanging out with them and we played Rook, which was a family card game and um, just the four of us. And um, one day, um, which was December 31st, actually, my dad and I took off and went to uh, Walt Disney World and Epcot. And dad and I um, stayed there all day. And of course my dad is looking for ways to improve his productions all the time. He was always looking behind the scenes and trying to figure out how they did something so he could do that on stage. And uh, around 9.30 that night, it started to get late and dad said, do you wanna just stay and ring in the new year? And I said, yeah. So we, <laughs> we grabbed some, uh, I think they were handing out glow sticks and we had these new year's uh, party hats and there were thousands of people there and it was an Epcot center and there were lasers going and lights and my dad's going, let's go over here. I want to see these. And so we're just over there. And we're kind of moving with everybody because everybody was dancing to the music and stuff and we're just cracking up. And my dad had this big smile on his face, like a kid in a candy store. It's a big grin. And he was so excited and it was such a really special night for me, a really good memory for us. Um, but again, he was always looking for a way to improve those productions. Um, a few years later, I had just moved out to California and um, he flew out to uh, San Diego for a music conference and he said, let's rent a car and drive to Las Vegas. I wanna see some of the shows. I wanna see what the professionals are doing. I said, okay, so we, we got in the car, uh, we rented a Mustang convertible, and because dad loved that car, and uh, we rode with the top down a lot, but um, if you know my dad, you know that the way that he drives the car is to have one hand on the steering wheel, and the other hand is conducting choral music. He always has choral music playing, and he's listening, and conducting, and directing, and singing along, and he would say, listen to this part, Jonathan, this is good. And um, every now and again, he'd get quiet and I'd see him start making facial expressions and hand expressions. And um, he looked like he was having a conversation with someone. And I'd say, dad, who are you talking to? 
<laughs> you just stop when you, you say shut up because <laughs> I caught him um, but he was always trying to work through whatever he was going to say and um, and going through lines or whatever for uh, whatever the next production was and um, when we got to Las Vegas uh, we saw two shows we saw um, the Blue Man Group and we saw Siegfried and Roy so dad decided to wait to the last minute to try to get the best seats in the house, which would be the VIP seats that they would release at the last minute. And sure enough, uh, no VIPs showed up the night that we went. So dad and I scored front row seats to Siegfried and Roy. As the show is going, my dad is just mesmerized by all the stuff that's going on. And it's a magic show and it's, uh, you know, they have you know live animals on the stage. They had elephants and tigers. And at one point dad turns around to me and he says, what do you think about a tiger in The Witness? And I said, um, dad, maybe not a tiger. Yeah, maybe, maybe not a tiger in The Witness. Um, how about an elephant? <laughs> We just cracked up, you know, because where are you going to find an elephant? But that was my dad. And uh, at one point in the show, he was, um, Siegfried had just done this big uh, trick. And everyone was, you know, applauding and going nuts. And dad's just standing there staring at the ceiling with his hands next to his sides, not clapping. You know, he's in his own little world like he normally is. He just kind of is dreaming and looking at stuff. And he's looking at how the lights are rigged to see how he can do that at home, you know. Well, Siegfried noticed that dad wasn't clapping. So he walked to the edge of the stage, looked at my dad and went, <laughs> and <laughs> dad jumped and started clapping. And Siegfried had this big smile on his face and dad turned around to me and he said, did you see that? And I said, dad, everybody saw that. <laughs> you got caught. <laughs> and we laughed and he loved that story. Um, but again, he was always thinking of how to improve those productions and how he could make them better and all to glorify the Lord. Um, again, my dad, he devoted his life to the Lord and, um, through music and he touched so many people and so many of us are going to miss him. I miss him, but I know that I will see him again someday. I love you, Dad. Thank you for listening.